All right, so obviously a fair amount of controversy has gone on in the last couple of days. We're in either just the last day. Quinn Simmons responded to this tweet by with a black wavy face. And to be honest, Twitter kicked off big time. People had had enough. People said, you know, what a horrendous human and all the rest of it. And and they all went obviously straight to track like Fredo and said, you've got to fire him, you've got to fire him, get rid of him. And obviously Trek were like, had no idea that he'd written his tweet probably because it's not like they come up like if you reply to someone on twitter it doesn't really come up so i reckon trek genuinely were just like okay what so then they mo made a statement pretty early on um saying like okay yeah we're gonna have a statement we're gonna have a statement and then they made their statement which is which is what uh, is here um so it just says by the way they value inclusivity and supports a more diverse and actual sport for all athletes um they also like free speech. Um, he thinks the the statement that Quinn Simmons made was divisive, incendiary, and detrimental to the team. Uh, in response, he won't be raced for track. So that's pretty big. Like they decided straight away um, that he's not racing for track anymore. Um, obviously, he'll still be contracted to them, so they haven't cancelled his contract. But he's not going to be racing with them. I don't know how long, but like that's quite big. Um, and obviously. I'm going to comment more about what I think personally and on how the whole situation went on. Uh, they then released another statement saying that as American rider, uh, he's very American, he loves America, what, 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 he says, this is the thing that really sort of more pissed me off than anything else. To those who found the colour of the emoji racist, I can promise I did not mean for it to be interpreted that way. I'd like to apologise to everyone who found this offensive. I strongly scan against racism. And then the coach, the team manager basically is like, yeah, he's an idiot, but he's good at riding a bike, so we want to keep him, which is basically what he says. So the reason is just like, number one, I think they got to delete the tweet straight away. As soon as the thing came in, delete it straight away. Minimizes exposure. Okay, people will take screenshots, but you know, you got to delete it just to show it's wrong. Number two, Trek, I think, didn't really explain what it was that they didn't like. They just said that they thought it was. But they should have said, like, you know, we think this is like blackface on the internet. We think it's not appropriate to use a black emoji on this. He's taking the piss out of the journalist who wrote this. And he's not taking it seriously and all the rest of it. But they didn't say anything like that, which I think isn't isn't great. Um, I think Quinn Simmons' apology is not an, is a non-apology. He doesn't really steam. I mean, he says, oh, I'm sorry. He doesn't have an excuse. OK, which, again, I'm thinking more in a PR sense here than like a mor moralistic sense. But he doesn't say that, you know, are oh, we, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's just a mistake. Sorry, like, you know, on my keyboard, I, I, I like, it's the default or, you know, so it would, could have been a very lame excuse, but it would have been an excuse. So, like, at least there could have been more, you know, oh, uh, maybe he's a good lad, etc., etc. Oh, he just made a mistake. But here it's like, nah, like, he on purpose chose that. He, he on purpose chose the black emoji. But why? So we need to, like, there's a lot of questions unanswered, really, by these statements. And there's nothing that really is answered. All there is is that, obviously, he supports Trump, which I don't think in itself is, like, that big. I, I reckon there's a fair few American riders who probably support Trump, maybe. I'm, I'm just, just guessing here. So I don't think that's huge. Obviously, like, the thing that got him done was, and the thing that everyone really kicked off about was the buy with the black emoji face. If you just said buy... Nah, I would have been a bit of a storm, but it would have been nothing really. But he, he's he's like, then as soon as he uses that, you're like, well, he's clearly very insensitive, probably racist, and like not a great bloke to be honest. Um, and then if you're thinking on Trek's perspective, well, I mean, they've got two options really. Obviously, there's one option which is ignore it, but there's no chance of doing that because everyone would just kick off anyway. So they can't ignore it. So they've either got to sack him, which sounds quite big. He's quite young. And would it really help him as a person? So it's like, well, probably not if they sacked him, to be honest. Um, which a lot of people have said they would, because if they sacked him, all it would be is like, okay, yeah, you're racist, whatever, or it we think that. And he, he'd be like, okay, yeah, cool. And then let's be honest, he'd get another contract. There's no way that Quinn Simmons wouldn't get another contract. So it hasn't really helped the situation that much. Maybe he'd think more carefully about it. And maybe he'd like, you know, wouldn't air it in public. Which he probably won't ever. He probably won't call quit Twitter or whatever and just do, do the boring met things. Or I think, you know, you keep them in the team and you try and educate them and you try and sort of help 
them realize that they're like that their thinking is wrong which i think is probably the better thing to do and i think most people would think that probably is better because as a, as a team number one obviously you get the rider so that's good because he is a good rider and also obviously number two you you hope that he would then learn from his mistakes and he wouldn't just be cast out as a pariah um but it, it doesn't really look great i mean the tour de france were there like whole black lives matter like obviously most other sports took it more seriously um and you know tried to show that you know we have some solidarity always there's an issue obviously cycling has quite an issue with race considering there's like one rider in the tour de france who's black and it's not like you know oh it's tough for people from africa to come to the sport yeah we will get that i think the issue is in america the uk for instance there are no black riders who ride at professional uh, conti level i'm pretty sure in the uk and pro conti or like pro conti in america i'm pretty sure if i'm not 100 right but it's very very minimal and i think obviously that's an issue so and track i assume want to try and help this out at this issue so then to have quinn simmons here is just not ideal so they really have to try and do something i think from quinn simmons perspective number one you know trump is pretty divisive why did you say anything like your twitter should be basically a marketing board for the people who sponsor you aka trek you all you need to do is just say that stuff is good live a relatively exciting life maybe you know voice some opinions and some minor cycling details that in the great scheme of things are slightly irrelevant but i think you know obviously his tweets were well very bad and ill-advised and of also like i'm not i'm just thinking cynically not not you know anything else like from his perspective like why would you ever say that on twitter even if that's what you think why because it's not going to do anything for your career like oh yeah he said bye with a black wire face oh i'm gonna sign in like obviously not so it was clearly a big mistake from him he didn't delete it he didn't really apologize he should have just really said nothing about the american rider american team that's irrelevant what he should have said is i'm really sorry i didn't think this through i didn't realize it all the rest of it and actually done a heartfelt apology and said you know i'm willing to learn um this is obviously clearly a big issue and you know said a little bit more uh, basically he said nothing and then he talks about his political thing which i don't think is the issue here really like i think him supporting trump is like i mean okay you you couldn't disagree with him and trump's obviously you know whatever he's done good and bad things but i think the, the issue the issue was the black wavy face so i i don't i don't get quinn simmons response and i think in future when a contract comes up unless he really wins a big classic i think it's going to be hard harder for him and some teams definitely they, they won't want the negative publicity it's just too much effort so i think from him it's it's really not good but the question obviously at the end of this video is is what would you do if you were track um i'm, I'm not going to say quinn simmons because i think it's relatively obvious but if you were track what would you do do you sack him which a lot of people are saying there seems to be very divided here is sack him otherwise i'm never buying a bike from you why do you even ask like talk to him i'm never buying a bike from him so people are like annoyed that trek mentioned it annoyed that trek didn't do enough there doesn't seem to be anyone in the middle thinking oh okay um so yeah i think what do you think do you think trek should sack him do you think trek should sort of do what they're doing where they're suspending him and hopefully educating him or do you think trek should have just you know said oh it's water under the bridge no worries whatever um obviously I, i've said my opinion which is i think they, they've done okay um I, I don't necessarily think sacking him would be useful as i said before but maybe they could have worded this statement a bit a bit stronger um but yeah i, I it's, it's a pretty ugly episode for all involved um and i think quinn simmons has not come off well from this and i don't think really people are going to be very endearing i thought he's an all right bloke but now i'm like pff, yeah i'm like not really that much endearing to him as a human anymore um but that's just my personal view obviously people have different ones so leave yours in the comments below and um we'll see you in the next one